Northern California fires leaving a path of destruction in their wake. In El Dorado County, more evacuations are issued as the fire expands. It was staying put for about a day and then all of a sudden in about two hours it jumped about a half a mile this way. And in the far north of the state, a look at the devastation in Weed where a hundred homes were destroyed and some of those living there just escaped the flames. I'm thankful I'm alive. I'm thankful my children are alive. And behind us here right now, Live Copter 3 showing us the smoke from the King Fire in El Dorado County tonight. It really is something to see. And right now, firefighters in Northern California have their hands full. More than 2,500 firefighters currently battling just two fires alone. We have team coverage of these fires. KCRA 3's David Beenick is in Siskiyou County for us. The town of Weed, located along Interstate 5 in the shadows of Mount Shasta, has been devastated by the swift and destructive Bowles fire. And KCR3's Mike Lurie is live outside of Pollock Pines in El Dorado County, where more people have been evacuated today. So here's the latest. The King Fire has now burned 11,570 acres. Once again, fire officials have not updated that number since this morning, so we do know the actual damage is much larger. As the fire has grown, it is threatening homes, 1,267 in all. There are 640 mandatory evacuations and another 627 voluntary evacuations. Right now, containment is just 5%. The new evacuation areas include the communities of Swansboro and Mosquito. And with that, let's go out right now to Mike Lurie at Swansboro Airport with the latest on the firefight. Mike, tell us exactly where you are. Well, Golston, Swansboro is located about 10 miles north of Placerville, and it is virtually a ghost town right now, thoroughly abandoned. And here's why. Take a look over my shoulder, and you see that the King Fire has blown up in the last hour, sending thick plumes of smoke into the sky, threatening hundreds of homes in the communities around here, where there is a very, very visible sign of drought. Take a look at the lake in front of you, and you'll see that as a stark reminder of just how dry it is here and in the canyons above. It was a quick exodus from Swansboro today, with 640 homes in this area under mandatory evacuation orders, and another 600 more in danger as the King Fire moved in closer, filling the sky with smoke. Basically, uh, we got a knock on the door saying that we had to evacuate. Many residents left here with horses and other pets in tow. Corey Bittner brought his Akita and Husky in the back of his pickup truck. So you got the evacuation order? Yes, we did. Just trying to get everything off the hill, family, friends, everybody trying to get out of here. And your dogs? Absolutely. So where are you heading to? Heading to uh, family in Placerville. The evacuation orders were strictly enforced by law enforcement, with the California Highway Patrol stationed at Rock Creek Road to protect evacuees from harm. I've been trying to keep people who are looky-loos, don't live down here, not going to get in their perishables, their livestock, their animals, and so forth. I've been diverting them back out. And so hundreds of anxious residents have abandoned their homes, not knowing when they can return. Our primary concern is to keep people safe. We want to put this fire out. We want to protect homes. But people are the number one priority always. And you're looking at live pictures now of the King Fire. In the last couple of minutes, we've seen many, many uh, fire structures going up in terms of new fire equipment. There's a bulldozer just coming down the road right now, heading up to the fire. This is part of the activity that's going on here. We talked to the command center also just a few moments ago. They say they have no plans to lift this mandatory evacuation order tonight. Those residents will have to stay away. They will reevaluate tomorrow, but they're concerned that this fire could be coming over this ridge then, but they have plenty, hundreds of firefighters that are here to prevent that and make sure that doesn't happen. We'll have more for you. The latest on the King Fire coming up at 6. Reporting live in El Dorado County, Mike Lurie, KCRA 3 News. Mike, the numbers as this fire has grown have certainly been explosive, but mm -hmm. when you're there in person, are you seeing a big change in the fire from yesterday? Well, we're seeing a different perspective because yesterday we were over by Pollock Pines. Here we're seeing more of the residential side where a lot of the folks live. We've seen less smoke, but more people. But you can see the uh, feel the intensity in the air just from the uh, the sense of concern from the residents here that these flames and the smoke is getting much closer to their homes. Well, it's just blown up in the last day as we've seen. So, Mike, thanks for that. We